In this video, we're going to talk about how to do an SEO competitor analysis. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. The first step to doing an SEO competitor analysis is to compile a list of your competitors. But then if you want to grow that list, an easy and free way to do that is just use Google. So go into Google and just type in your industry or some keywords of your industry. So if you were doing auto parts, for example, you can just type in auto parts. If you have a local store, not an online store, you might want to localize it with a state. So then here in this auto parts example, we can see that Napa sells auto parts, carparts.com sells auto parts, partsgeek.com, and then we can see some local auto parts stores here as well. So once you have a list of your competitors, you need a tool to perform an SEO analysis on those competitors. Our plugin All-in-One SEO has that functionality built in. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the menu on the left where it says All-in-One SEO and click on SEO Analysis. It's beyond the scope of this video to go into all the details here, but a good rule of thumb is you want to have a score of 70 or above. So this site is doing great with a score of 79. The key feature we're concerned with for this video is the Analyze Competitor Site tab up top. So go ahead and click on that, and then you can type or paste in the competitor site here. So continuing with the auto parts theme, I'm going to paste in partsgeek.com and then click the big green Analyze button. And then we have very detailed information about the SEO of one of your competitors' websites. So they're doing a very good job. They have a score of 85 on their SEO. We can see some of the keywords here that they're targeting. And again, the point here is not to copy your competition, but to identify any gaps in your SEO strategy and get ideas for how you can fix those. So in the keywords section here, for example, you could look at the keywords that your competition is targeting and see parts and say, okay, I'm targeting parts, that's fine. But they're also targeting Ford. I'm not targeting Ford. In fact, I'm not targeting any brands that my customers may have. So maybe I'll go look at a customer database and find the top three brands that our customers drive and add those keywords into our SEO strategy. Below that, in the basic SEO section, you can see lots of detailed information on basic SEO. In the first example here, the SEO title is set and is 65 characters long. If you click on any of these little arrows on the side here, you can get more detailed information about any of these items. So this tells you the exact title that they're using and that they have set for their SEO title. So you can go into any of these items and get some ideas for your own SEO strategy if you're missing some of these things. It's the same story in the advanced SEO section. The first one, for example, says the page is using the canonical link tag. And you can find more information about the canonical link tag. In the performance section as well, you can get some ideas for things that you may be able to do better on your own site. And this site, for example, it says the size of the HTML document is 16K. This is under the average of 33K. Maybe you're coming in at 32 and thought you were doing fine, but your competition here is coming in at 16K. But it's something you can at least take into consideration now that you have some benchmarks for what your competition is doing. Now, under the security section here, I typically find it more useful to look at the analysis of my own site but one way this could be useful is let's say you're on a team and someone in IT told you that we cannot disable the directory listings on the server. You could point to this and say, well, it looks like our competition has been able to do that. Maybe we could revisit that issue. I'm going to scroll back up here and then kind of go on down the page again because I just wanted to point out one more thing that sometimes the real value in doing this SEO analysis on your competition is that it reminds you to go back and look at some of the SEO things that you know to do but maybe you haven't looked at it in a long time. So for example, if we're looking at the second item here that says the meta description is 176 characters long, which is too long, maybe you look at that and say, I know our meta description was good when we set this up a year and a half ago, but when was the last time I visited the meta description on our own site? So not only can you look at your competition here and get some ideas of things you can do, it's also just a very good reminder of the basic SEO steps you should be taking, and even some of the more advanced SEO steps you should be taking, as well as things you can do to improve the performance and the security of your website. There's just so much valuable information in here, so don't be afraid to go and look at the entire list and then go back and peruse it one or two more times. So that's how to do an SEO competitor analysis. If you click on this next video right here, we'll show you how to fix that pesky problem when someone shares your content on Facebook and it uses the wrong thumbnail image. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks 
on how to use our easy and powerful SEO WordPress plugin, All-in-One SEO.